this is as much basketball adversity as I can ever imagine you ever getting. And how are you going to handle it? Are, you gonna, are we going to get negative? Or are we going to act like, are we going to be like a winning team with the right attitudes, the right effort, the right camaraderie, the right culture? Or are we just going to break it all apart and just, you know, and it goes our separate ways. Because of injuries outside of the team's control, SMU has played the last several games with limited scholarship student athletes healthy. Yet, what they've shown is that there is absolutely no quit in this team. We, got, we have 20 offensive boards and, and um, there's 32 shots. That's, that's, that's about three back. That's the, leads the country every single year. If you did that, then those are, those are crazy numbers. Those are effort numbers of guys playing with tremendous pride, trying to turn the tables on all that's going on, and, and uh, I, I, I really, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. This adversity has led to some newfound leadership on the team. In addition, the fan favorite term, moody magic, has also gained a deeper meaning. You know, a lot of places, if you're out there, the lead is getting bigger and bigger, and I look up, and I tell you what, a lot of people an awful lot of people, which I would never, ever, ever, ever have dreamed, a lot of people were staying there and acting, and, and, and what I read was they care about those darn kids. Like Coach Jankovic said, Mustang fans aren't just fair weather fans. That Moody magic is real, and even with limited numbers on the team, you can still find Moody Coliseum a packed house. Whether you're a member of SMU's prestigious student section, The Mob, or the 43rd President of the United States, Moody Coliseum is the place to be on game day. And it's sold out almost every game, so it just gets very loud in here. The Mob is one of the most difficult student sections to get into around the country. Only the most dedicated SMU basketball fans actually qualify for it. The students in the Mob show up about 45 minutes to an hour before the game, and uh, they're always rocking. And then uh, President Bush will show up for a lot of the big games, and he always gets us really pumped up. We'll throw up the W for him to uh, you know, show our appreciation for him. And... It's just an incredible atmosphere and an amazing thing to be a part of. George W. Bush and his wife, Laura Bush. Our crowd looks so knowledgeable to me. I may be reading it totally wrong. Maybe everyone didn't want to get out in the cold. Maybe they were waiting for something <laughs> else. Maybe there was a giveaway late in the game that I don't know about. <laughs> I don't know, but all I know is I felt like the reason people stayed was they were going to support those young men, and I tell you what, that means the absolute world to me, and I will not forget that. For Campus Connect, this is SMU's Emma Kate Hugh.